and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be reacting to blue lock season 2 episode 1 so just to give you some context i did watch see watched yeah i did watch season 1 it was last summer like a year ago and i was watching that while i was like on the treadmill and i was like working out you know <laughs> so i didn't do any reaction to it or anything um i do want to apologize if i did forget some names and stuff like that like i got the gist of things if that makes any sense um but yeah i didn't even watch the trailer of season two i just heard some some things about the animation so i guess we're gonna see I'm going to be reacting to the opening and ending as well. So it's going to be two separate videos, like one for episode one reaction and the other one for opening ending. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to remember what happened in the last episode. I do remember that they did end up having like one team all together, which it was like a mix of like multiple people. And they just introduced a lot of them like in the last couple of seconds and the aesthetic aesthetic of those characters insane like they looked so cool um so i guess we're gonna see still a bit sad that you know the dude with the orange hair didn't make it but <clears throat> i guess we'll see how it goes from there the full reaction is going to be on my patreon if you are interested and the patreon is linked in my description box so without further ado, let's get started. Oh yeah, there was a thing with Rin and his brother, right? I don't remember, but I guess it's like slight backstory that we didn't have in the previous season, like last episode. Because I think we just know that he has a grunge against his brother, right? I feel like that's like the classic sentence to trigger someone. <laughs> Honestly, I do hope that they're gonna wipe their ass. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I feel so dumb. Something I forgot to say during my intro, I watched that in dub. I did watch the season one in dub now that i think about it and that's why i liked ego's voice i really loved the dub of his voice actor uh so i guess i'm gonna discover everything <laughs> um so yeah let me skip like the opening i feel so okay because i was like i feel so bad because i don't remember the context of where they are right now except that they need to play against each other in some groups i think okay so at least Ego's gonna choose a team, you know? Oh. I mean, oh. My man, my man. <laughs> of course. I am intrigued by this dude. I love his heart style. It reminds me of Doflamingo. Oh, the voice, the voice. Oh, I don't know. I have something with voice. <laughs> gosh okay okay i don't think he's gonna be um a team leader though oh i am not surprised by that choice uh oh okay okay oh okay so i mean rin i was expecting it but the other dude okay those are two really strong players. So I guess, like he just said, you need to mismatch like what you're good at and just choose a team that's gonna make you shine, you know? Just not go in a team that's gonna make you like... I don't know how to say that, but just not jump into a team that is strong. Jump into a team that you're gonna be able to shine in. <sighs> Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be mean, but Izagi, like, he's good, but clearly not the best. 
But he's gonna get there. He's gonna get there. I have hope. You know, I feel like Isagi's gonna have trouble with doing that with Nagazi? Nazaki? I don't know. Like, the dude with the white hair, because they've been playing together. So... Sorry. I don't think. I, I don't know if he's... I at the same time, I don't know. I feel like those players are so wild sometimes that he might... <laughs> Yeah, this dude was the one I was the... I want to say most shocked about. But I was sad. I was sad when I saw that he got kicked. Ugh. But I guess it's part of the thriller, like, being dramatic, like... Or maybe he's gonna pop later on, you know? Who knows? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Yeah, I was like, either he's gonna go for Rin, or either he's gonna go for... I swear. Him. <laughs> I was like, the names, man, the names. I mean, I feel like if he wants to improve, he should go with Rin. But if you want to be comfortable, you should go with um him. <laughs> Nagi. <clears throat> I feel like that... Is that Gojo's voice actor, man? Ah, he looks kind of good. <laughs> oh, I love his style. What? Antenna head. Excuse me. Okay, he's scary. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't took long enough. I feel selfish. But I really want Shin and Shindo. Is it Shindo? I don't know. The dude with the pink hair. I want those two in that team. Like, they are scary, but. Like, you know? I don't want to say that's what I said earlier, but that's what I said earlier, which is a good point, but I feel like can be a double edged sword as well. I mean, he's got a good point there. I like Nico. <laughs> but as, you know, I agree with him, but... And that he's tired of being foiled, if that makes any sense. But I feel like that's how you grow up, like, as well, you know? Pushing you to do things that you wouldn't normally. Obviously, that was... The goal of season one, I guess. Um, so I'm excited to see who he's going to choose. <clears throat> yeah, because he choose growth instead of friendship. Like right now, you are in blue luck, not in high school, you know. And that's how he grew so much. And he needs to do the same thing. Choose things that's going to make him grow, you know. Yeah. I'm I'm sure he chose I'm sure he chose Rin. Did he choose Rin? Let's let let's do a bet. Did he choose Rin? I think he did. <laughs> okay, I'm a big I'm a bit too much, but I feel like it was obvious. Hmm. Oh, I mean, I'm a bit shocked that Rio did choose Nagi, though. I get okay. I guess it was predictable as well. You want to show Nagi that he can coexist with him, I guess, and like be as good. And that's gonna be your downfall like they could have used like all the info that they had in that little documents but no they decided to be greedy and just yeah i can't wait for them to get whooped i guess we'll see 
Oh, Mama. Excuse me? He looks a bit older than like all the other people we've met so far. Why do I feel like they're just gonna be pointing Shindo? Oh no, is it gonna be <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be sad though. Yo, the movement of the animation. I know it's like an after credit type of thing, but. Mm. Oh well, oh well, oh well, let me stop that. Alright, so that was it for the first episode of season two. Um, I mean, I feel like it's kind of what I was expecting. Like, I wasn't expecting something that would become out of end, stuff like that. I guess they really had to show, like, the characters. But the thing is that the, we didn't really meet them in depth. Though I haven't watched a movie, I think there was a movie that went out like this year um, about Blue Lock. I don't know if that would have given me some more context. I don't think so. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I am excited to see how everyone is going to work like in teams and stuff like that. I guess that's what everyone wants to see as well. Um, so I guess I don't have a lot to say about this episode since it was like not that much has been going on i am intrigued though by the captain of like that that they showed us at the end with the different eye color and the green hair he had a vibe he had some horror i feel <coughs> sorry i feel like we saw him did we saw him in season one at some point I don't know, but I can't wait for the clash between the Japanese top 20 players, I think, and Blue Lock. I feel like that's going to be interesting because I feel like it happens really often that people don't have the um, contacts, if that makes sense, to like go really high in certain like sport teams and stuff like that. So going into Blue Lock, that kind of gives you the opportunity to do so. And I feel like that organization like the one that is against blue lock they're gonna be surprised they're gonna be shocked and i can't wait for that because sometimes a lot of times there's a lot of hidden talents that can never grow and that can never like show up <laughs> don't know you know what i mean got the gist of it um so yeah i'm really excited for that um and yeah, I was about to say I was shocked. I remember at the end of last season because there was so many characters that they were presenting us that we just never saw during the entire season, like Shindo. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name, but like the dude with the pink hair, never saw him. The dude with the glasses, never saw him as well. I mean, except Rin, we never saw almost any of those characters that are like team leaders right now, so... So we're excited to see what they're good at, if that makes any sense. And yeah, that was it for this episode. And right now I'm going to jump into uh, watching the opening and the ending. I'm super excited for it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to see each other in another episode or video. Bye-bye. <laughs>